This video will show you how to replace a knock sensor on a Subaru Outback with a 2.5 liter engine. This will be located behind your AC compressor on top of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To do this, we're going to disconnect our negative battery terminal. For this, you're going to find you have a 10 millimeter mounting nut holding this in place. We'll start loosening this. Once you feel as though you have that loose enough that you can move this around, gently slip it up and off of the battery and rest it aside. Now that we have the battery disconnected, we're making our way along the top center of the engine. We can see our alternator and our AC compressor. Look straight down along the backside of that AC compressor. Deep down in this area is where we can see our knock sensor. Start by disconnecting your electrical connector up along the top. It has a small squeezable tab. Press it in and disconnect this. If you find you have a hard time reaching down in this area, you can use a small prying device. I'm just using an angled pick. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, take a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's probably corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. Assuming it looks okay, let's continue on. Now let's look at the knock sensor itself. We're paying attention to the orientation, essentially the direction that the connector is facing. We want that connector port facing towards the center of the engine. This is especially important during the installation process. We'll use a 12 millimeter to remove the mounting bolt. Once that's out, we can also remove the knock sensor. I'll use a swivel socket for this so I can have the angle needed. During the removal process, you can use an impact tool, but you never use an impact tool during the installation process. Let's go ahead and remove that knock sensor. Remove the bolt. And there it is, friend. Prior to installation of any new part, clean and inspect your mounting surfaces. For this, you wanna make sure it's a smooth surface. You can either use a clean rag, or if there's any buildup, use a piece of fine sandpaper if necessary. Now it's time to install our brand new knock sensor. I'm going to take my bolt, start it through the knock sensor itself. Continuing on, we need to get this in position. And as I mentioned, the electrical connector port is facing towards the center of the engine or towards the passenger side of the car. As I bring this into position, we also need to start in our mounting bolt. Make sure it does not cross thread into the wrong positioning. We'll make sure we have the proper orientation before we snug this. Once you do have it bottomed out, torque that to 18 foot pounds. Once you have that torqued, confirm it's properly secured and then reattach your electrical connector. As far as that electrical connector, you want to have the locking tab facing upward. It's fairly difficult to see when your hands are in here, it's a tight area. Press it in, listen for an audible click, and then double check to make sure it's properly secured in place. Let's install our negative battery terminal. To install the negative battery terminal, we're just going to take this and slide it directly onto the battery as far as possible. Continuing on, tighten your 10 millimeter nut until it bottoms out. Right there feels as though it wants to stop. I'm going to take it just a tiny bit further and then we'll ensure it's perfectly tightened. Okay friend, we finished our installation of our knock sensor. The next thing you need to do is close the hood and run the vehicle. Confirm you have no running condition and no check engine light and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.